Hello everyone, Seven Bard here, and welcome to some more of Easter of Egg Month. Whenever Rankin Bass does an Easter special, there are very few and far in between, and there's only three of them. And yes, I already reviewed one of them, but the remaining two specials tend to be forgotten by many, but they should be looked over nonetheless. And today, I'll be going over one of these specials. Which happens to share the same similarities as Santa Claus is coming to town. And that special is... The Easter Bunny is coming to town. S.D. Kluger comes back again, but this time to tell a story about the Easter Bunny named Sonny, who is found and raised by children in a place called Kidville. And once Sonny grows up, he decides to deliver eggs to a town called... Town. And must avoid a giant bear named Gadzooks, who lives in Big Rock Mountain, and the Dowager Duchess Lady Lily Longtooth, who is the aunt of a child king named Bruce the Frail. From here on, Sonny, the kids of Kidville, and a hobo named Hallelujah H. Jones tried to think of ways to deliver eggs without getting caught, as well as delivering other Easter goodies. Now, many of you would like to have me talk about how this is similar to the Christmas one, and I'll get to that. But first, I want to go over the problems that I have with this special. One is with Lady Longtooth. The special mentions that, even though Bruce is the king, she's the one who takes charge of everything. Well, if that's the case, then why doesn't she be the ruler? She's the one who enforced the laws and sent guards to do her duties. It doesn't make much sense to have a kid rule everything when clearly she does. Especially ironic when a boy is king in a town that forbids children. Unless there's some subtle commentary going on about this, it just doesn't work. Another is a continuity issue. When the special introduces Kidville, S.D. Kluger is shown as a young boy. And this is a pretty well-made idea to have a well-known character show not only his brief origin, but to establish how much he knows the story. Except for when he grows up and all the other children stay the same age as time passes. It's pretty minor, but it's certainly a biggie. And now we'll go into the similarities of Santa Claus is coming to town. On the one hand, most of it is pretty obvious. But on the other hand, there are a few differences. Like there's one time where Sonny actually breaks the fourth wall. That's one of the rare times where a character, aside from the narrators, would do that in a Reagan Mask special, the other being with Rudolph. Another difference is that Lady Longtooth became nice at the end, where Burgermeister remained the bad guy, the only villain in a Reagan Mask special not to turn good. I said special, not movie. And of course the good guys don't get arrested in this one, and for pretty good reasons. But one big difference from Santa Claus is that, where he delivers toys every day before settling on Christmas Eve, here, Sonny only does it every Easter. It's not that big of an issue considering that the hands need to lay eggs and every candy and clothing needs to be made. It's just one thing I wanted to bring up. And besides, the similarities of any show wouldn't be that big of a deal as long as there's something new to them. I mean, what other holiday special would have a mailman delivering letters on a mode of transportation who tells a story about a legendary holiday icon who was raised by little people and is determined to deliver some goods to a nearby town that is all grand and dismal where a mean tyrant rules forbidding anything good but an innocent person of the town helps the holiday figure as well as a comic relief and a giant obstacle that was once a mean obstacle but became nice when given a generous gift while also establishing the traditions of the holiday by saying it's the very first first or it started at all. Actually, it does make a big deal. The songs in the special are sort of good. They present some good beats and occasionally some memorable lyrics, so there's nothing too bad about them. Though the one song, What Came First, The Chicken or the Egg, does state that the chicken came first, yet the question itself is still talked about. I think nobody wants to bother about it coming from the special. Of course Fred Astaire reprises his role of S.D. Kluger, but... The rest of the voice cast cannot be found, so let's just wrap this up. As a whole, this special for the most part is okay. The characters are okay, the story, while similar to Santa Claus's coming to town, is fine as is, the animation is decent, and the songs are kind of good. Directors Arthur Rankin Jr. and George Bass made an almost good Easter special, with fine characters and decent animation and songs. Yet, its similarities to their Santa Claus special and some pointless scenarios make it a bit hard to get into, and once in a while the special itself would be forgettable. 
but the stuff that does work are just good enough to watch every Easter. It's nowhere near as impressive as Peter Cottontail, but it could be close. So today, this special will be given a rating of two and a half plus stars. So thank you for joining me. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter. And tune in next Wednesday for more of Easter Epic Month. The Berenstain Bears Easter Surprise. The special is written by Stan and Jen Berenstain, who have wrote and illustrated over 200 Berenstain Bears. It's just based on the toys from the Lego group. Or however you put it. A Lego construction worker named Emmett comes across what's known as the Peace of Resistance and has been prophesized. Hello, gentlemen. So I'm right here, and welcome to some more of Easter of Egg Month. <laughs> of course, Fred Astaire reprised his role of SD Kluger, but the rest of the voice cast cannot be found, so let's just end this. <laughs> Where a mean tyrant rules, forbidding anything good, but an innocent person of the town helps the holiday figure, as well as a comic relief and a giant obstacle that was once a mean obstacle, but became nice when get. Oh god, this is hard. <laughs> And today, I'll be going over one of these specials. Which happens to share the same similarities as Santa Claus is coming to town. And that special is... The Easter Bunny is coming to town. 